guys, dear, welcome back to my vlog. So today I'll be doing, telling you guys about the digestive system. So let's go. <laughs> mouth which is our teeth and tongue so of course tongue help us to taste foods and teeth help us to chew foods we have 32 permanent teeth in our mouth saliva glands are you know, they produce saliva and it actually produces 1.5 liters of saliva a day that's gross but you need it so and based on the size and location, they are classified as major salivary glands and minor salivary glands. So major salivary glands have three pairs, which is parotid gland, submandibular gland, and sublingual gland. So our salivary glands are located outside our oral gravity. Gravity. So our secretion, which is saliva, reaches our mouth through our ductal system. Our digestive system has three main functions, which is digestion, absorption, and elimination. Digestion involves the breakdown of our food into smaller and smaller components until they can be absorbed and assimilated into our body. Our digestion has three stages, which is Sephalic phase, gastric phase, and finally intestinal phase. Or of course, throat. Our food, water, and air actually gets through, uh, travels through the throat through a muscular um. What do you call it? Muscular tube, and it is actually five inches long. Next is esophagus. It is an also a muscular tube which is nine to ten inches. Not really sure, but it actually carries the food uh, food from the uh, throat and transfers it to the stomach. So this is the structure of esophagus. Esophagus is a tube that leads from our throat to our stomach. Food just does not fall through the esophagus into the stomach. The walls of esophagus propel food to the stomach by rhythmic waves of muscular contractions called peristalsis. Stomach has three parts like one, two, three. The first part is fungus, which uh, fundus, which is the upper part, body, which is the middle part, and antrum or pylor. There's two names for that, and it's finally the lower part. At the antrum or pylorus, the food will be in like a consistency of thick substance, and it'll enter our small intestine, leave our stomach, and enter our small intestine. So our small intestine contains three parts, those parts, which is duodenum and jejunum and ileum. Ileum is actually attached to our large intestine. So this is our small intestine structure. The small intestine carries out most of the digestive process, absorbing almost all of the nutrition you get from food into your bloodstream. The walls of the small intestine make a digestive juices or enzymes that work together and enzymes from the liver and pancreas to do this. So, oh my brothers. <laughs> so a large intestine stretches from our ileum to anus. The sigmund colon is connected to rectum from anus. The large intestine is much broader than the small intestine. It takes up much straighter path through your belly or abdomen. The purpose of the large intestine is to absorb water and salts from the material that has not been digested as food. And they get rid of any waste products left over. And this is the structure of the large intestine. So in our mouth, we of course chew the food with 
the help of the thief of course and it gets messed up with the saliva and it goes from to the throat and esophagus from there it goes to the stomach and it transfers to the large the small intestine and the large intestine and then from the intestines it goes to the anus and from anus finally to rectum the anus is the opening where the gastrointestinal tract ends and exits the body. The anus starts at the bottom of the rectum, the last portion of the colon or large intestine. The anorectal line separates the anus from the rectum. Tough tissue called fascia surrounds an anus attached it nearby. As you guys can see, but on the bottom of the picture, there is anus. This is the structure of our rectum. Rectum is a straight 8-inch eight eight inch chamber that connects to the colon or the large intestine to the anus. The rectum's job is to receive stool from the colon, let you know that there is a stool to be evacuated, and hold the stool until evacuation happens. Now I will explain to you the different time taken to digest different types of food that we eat. Watermelon just needs 20 minutes to digest but talking about potatoes they have need they need one hour to digest. Oranges and grapes which is fruits need 30 minutes to digest but brown rice, oats and millet need 1.5 hours to digest. Apple, pears and cherries just need 40 minutes. Soya beans, pears, kidneys, beans need 1.1 uh, 1 to 0.5 hours to 2 hours. Soya beans are actually so chewy to be honest. Like I have eaten those are so chewy though. Fresh tomatoes, cucumber and celery needs just 40 minutes. White cheese needs 1 and 1.5 hours to 2 hours. Boiled spinach, cauliflower, and maize need 35 minutes to digest, while chicken without skin needs 1 to 2 hours to digest. Boiled egg needs 45 minutes to digest, while beef takes like 3 to 4 hours. That's too much, okay? That's like that's too much, okay? Boiled roots, um, vegetable like carrots and beetroot needs 50 minutes and cheese needs 3 to 4.5 hours. That's too much too. Fishes like cod and salmon needs 30 to 60 hours. Isn't it like a half an hour and a one hour? Just put it normally, okay? And pork needs 4 to 5 hours. That's like too much. No, no, no. I really understood like that fruits and vegetables just take like 20 minutes, 30 minutes and take much less time. And for meats like cheese and stuff, it takes like hours to digest. That's that's crazy. Y'all should eat like healthy food and just try to avoid, um, you know, the junk food. Look how much time it's taking to digest and stuff. So just avoid them and stay safe, guys. Guys, I even have for you if you um, face the left side and sleep it's actually it actually makes your digestion better and guys don't forget to drink plenty of water for better digestion I hope you guys was in, hope this video was really useful to you guys and this is actually kind of like a long process but anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did smash that like button don't forget to subscribe like and share bye